Hello everyone. My name is Sunil Shah and I am going to give you an introduction about this uh, training program on SAT that you are logged on to. The fact that you are logged on to this particular program means that you will be taking your SAT soon. And this entire program is designed to help you prepare for SAT in an efficient way. I'll tell you the objectives of the program, what they are. Basically, there are two objectives, two very important objectives. Objective number one is you should be in a position to learn about SAT sitting at the convenience of your home. Objective number two, which is probably more important than the objective number one, we can better monitor your preparation of SAT if you use this website. I mean, you are all youngsters who are net savvy, so you will agree with me that if you do your homework on your uh, in your notebook and give it to a teacher, you know, the teacher has to find time to go through that notebook and, you know, then again she has to meet you and give it away to you and things like that. Instead, if you use this website, you know, we will exactly know how much time you have spent on which topic, what questions you have solved, what mistakes you have done. And not only that, we can check your homework in a better way, we can tell you the performance that you have done in comparison to the performance that the other students have done. Now this particular thing is very important, like for example you have made a mistake in a particular question. We will tell you that look, I mean suppose your name is Sandeep, we will tell you Sandeep, this question was attempted by more than 500 people and more than 400 have solved it right. So if you have solved it wrong, something is really wrong with you. Now, that will give you a better idea as to how your preparations are going on. So use this site extensively. You know, people think that if they are coming to the classes, they need not use the site. It's not so. Even if you are coming for the classes, you know, you do your homework on the website. You make sure that everything that you are doing is recorded on the website because your trainers can better monitor you. Your trainers can analyze your performance and things like that. So first, uh, you know, request that I have is use this website extensively. Now let's go on to the second aspect of this website. It is, what is the course all about? Now look, SAP, we have broken up into one, two, three, four levels. First, we take your diagnostic test. Now what is the diagnostic test? It's a test that you take without preparing. So that the first thing that you do when you enroll for a SAT course is take an examination. So don't worry about I have not started the course, I have not studied, I don't know this, I don't know that. Just go ahead, take a diagnostic test. We will understand where is your or what is your level of expertise as of now on ground zero. Thereafter, there is a section which is called as a basic section. Now we don't want you to run through the entire types of exams on SAT before we know that you have completed the basic part of math and English in an efficient way. So after you take the diagnostic test, your job is to complete the basic section on quantitative and verbal as early as you can. Okay? Once you complete the basic, then we will take a basic test of yours to find out whether your basics are in place. If we feel that you have not done very well on the test, we will recommend that you go through the basic section again. Only if you have done that particular section well, we will ask you to move ahead with the advanced course. Now, once you take that test, you take the advanced uh, you know, course, wherein you will again have questions on quantitative and verbal. And once you take that advanced program, then there is a complete section on full length test. That's why I said that the course is divided into four parts. The first part is the diagnostic test that you start taking just when you enroll for the course. The second one is the basic tutorials on math and English which you do. After you do the basic, you take tests. After you take the test, you go through advanced and then you are ready to take the full length test. So I'm sorry, it's not four. It can be treated as a course which has five sections into it. If you if you make sure that you do it in the same chronological order, I think you will do brilliantly on site. I have records of so many students. This course has been taken by more than 300 students already, mind you. So we will give you your performance in comparison to those students and things like that. 
So go ahead with this course, you know, do it in a systematic way. I am sure that you will first thing that you will do is, you know, watch this video so that you know how to use this course. Okay, one more thing that I want to tell you is, what is the structure of a course? If you are new to e-learning, then, you know, I will just tell you. Suppose you take up a topic like uh, basic arithmetic. So this topic of basic arithmetic will first open with some pages that we would want you to read. So there is something like interest calculations, uh, you know, simple interest, compound interest formulas, some examples solved. So you just go through those pages. They are not interactive pages, they are one side pages. We have to just read them. After every topic of our course, we have ensured that there is a test given at the end. Once you read those particular pages, you take a test. Okay, so there is a test below every particular topic, there are tests after every section, there are tests for full length. So there are questions and questions and questions on this website. Okay, but I will always tell you to go through the text very well, go through the videos, we are planning to put videos in more number of topics now. So if there is a topic which has an introductory video, you will first see the video or you will listen to the audio, then you will see the pages, then you will take the questions. All these things are recorded with the webmaster. So we will come and guide you that, okay, you have taken the test yesterday. This test you took an average of 23 minutes to complete the test. Other students who have completed the test have an average of 18 minutes, so you are taking a longer time. And then so many questions were right and so many questions were wrong. Why were the questions wrong? What are the right questions? What are the yeah, explanations? Right. You know, all these things you can see. And then you will get a report on your account or maybe on your email enumerating how you performed on the test. I hope it was not very boring to go through all this introduction. I try to keep it as simple as possible. Okay, if you have any queries, you can always email us to the webmaster as to the usage of the particular program and we will be delighted to answer these questions in say 24 hours. So that's the introduction about SAT. I'm sure you will do a good job on the website. If you do a good job on the website, I'm sure you will do a good job on the SAT. Okay, so I once again wish you all the best, do well, if you have any difficulties, contact any of our, of our offices, the entire profiles of the trainers is also available on the course. I'm sure you're going to have a lot of fun. If you have any difficulties, get back to me. Thanks and bye.